how are you? Today is laundry folding day and putting in the closet. I love listening to jazz and it's just, just, you know, makes you bop away. Well, yesterday, as you could see in my pictures, I went to Aachen, Germany with my friend Melody. And, um, oh my God, it's such a beautiful city. So I, I don't know if you have the chan had the chance to watch and look at the pictures, but oh, what a great day. And it was just such a beautiful, beautiful city. Um, one thing that I noticed and I thought was brilliant tip that we could use at home as well is I don't know about you but I have some shirts and blouses that have a really wide neck and sometimes putting it on a hanger it doesn't stay as you can see it keeps falling so what I tend to do as if it would stay longer is I put it really gently on the hanger and then hope to God that it doesn't fall when I put it in so I rush it in and push it in and then squish my whole clothes together so that it keeps it on a hanger. That's not really fun because sometimes I do find some of my nice blouses on the ground of my, uh, you know, at the bottom of my closet because it fell from its hanger. So I noticed when we were at this one store that some of their shirts were kind of put into the hanger through the hole of the sleeve. And I thought, well, well that's brilliant because it is going to stay on the hanger. So as you can see, here's my wide neck blouse, and I put the hanger in one of the sleeves just like this. And as you can see, the blouse is not, is not wrinkled at all. It's just folded over at the sleeve, but it is going to stay on the hanger, and you can put it in the closet like that. Let me show you another time. I have a t-shirt that is very wide neck as you can see, very wide. And when I put it on a hanger, it tends to fall. I tend to push it in the closet and squish it with my other clothes. No more squishing, ladies. I take my hanger. This is the opening of my shirt. By the way, I love this one. Looks great with leggings. And that's the one I wore to Paris, remember? So, opening of the t-shirt, take the t-shirt, put the hanger on the sleeve like this, and then just put it like that on your hanger. You can, you know, arrange it in a better way that you like, but it's going to stay on the hanger and it's not going to fall at the bottom. And to me, I think that's a brilliant way to putting it, things like that in the closet because it won't fall anymore. So I did the same thing to my little M for Madison. Jim... Uh, sweat jacket, whatever you call that. And I love it because I don't really want to fold this size of, of a little sweat sh sweatshirt into um, a drawer because sometimes it's just too clumpy. But now I have a chance because of its wide neck, I couldn't put it in the closet. Now I just put it in, put it on my hanger like this and it's going to go in my closet where I can see it and wear it. So on that note, that's my tip for today. I hope that you have a great day. Yes, I'm wearing a Doobie Brothers t-shirt. That's one of my favorite bands. And thanks to Margot Lancaster, who gave me this for my birthday. Thanks, Margot. I really, I really love to wear it. It's so soft. So anyhow, that's my tip for today. Again, t-shirts or wide and wide neck shirts. Why don't you hang it this way? Perfect way, and it'll stay on its hanger. Have a great day, ladies. I will continue to do my cleaning and my folding, and uh, I hope that you have a great week, and we'll see you soon. If you have any questions, you can just email me, or thank you for watching my little videos, too. I mean, I miss you guys, and I do this for you, and, and I hope that you're enjoying them as much as I love making them. So, on that note, I'll keep doing my work and dancing to my jazz. So, we'll see you later, ladies. Bye! Oh, there's another one.